Hi, this is Shalaya with Stotlery Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to fill out your marketing profile. We're going to start by going to agent.kw.com, and we're going to sign into command. Just a reminder, the username is not case sensitive, but your password is. If you're having trouble logging in, you can click this little eyeball icon here, and that'll give you a view of your password. Once you have that keyed in, we'll click on sign in. Once we sign into command, we'll go to the top right corner and click on our name. And then we're going to go down to settings. Be sure you're clicking on settings and not profile, as this is a different profile. Your marketing profile you can find within settings here. Once that loads on the left-hand side, you're gonna look for connect settings. And then that's where you can find your marketing profile here. We'll click on that. Okay, so we're gonna start from the top down. So first we have our headshot photo. For your headshot photo, you wanna make sure this is cropped down to a square. If it is not a square, this will show up distorted and that is how it's gonna look on your marketing. So be sure you crop your photo before you upload that. If you need any help, you can always send it over to us as well. And then we have our team logo. So if you have a team logo, you can put that in here. If you don't, you can use a generic KW logo or the Realtor logo. And this does not need to be cropped to a square. The team logo and Market Center logos do automatically correct themselves no matter what size they are. This is what shows up on your marketing. If you do not have a team logo here, some of the marketing details will show a broken image in that spot. So that's why we recommend throwing in a KW logo there. Moving down, we have our details. So you're gonna enter all your information here. This is what will show up across your marketing as well as your website. Be sure that your name does reflect the name on your license and any of this other information, be sure that you are filling it out to compliance. If you're not sure what your regulations are as far as compliance, you can check with your broker. So you can put your license number in here, if you are on a team, you can throw your team name in here. Your job title can go here. If you do not already have a slogan and you don't wanna put anything in this box yet, this is a required spot. So what you can do is go here and put a space and that will override that requirement there for you. Next, we have our designation and credentials. So you can add your designations here. Typically, you would just put Realtor here. If you're not sure how to get that Realtor symbol, if you hold down the Alt button and then type in 0174, that will throw that icon there for you. Next, we have our military affiliation. So if you are affiliated with the military, I'll show you the options here. We have active duty, reserves, veteran, or military spouse. So if any of those applies to you, you can add that to your marketing profile. And once you click on one of these, it does give you the option to select the branch. Next, we have our bio here. So the way your bio looks here is how it will show up on your marketing. So if you add line breaks to your paragraphs or things like that, that is how it will show up. Down here, we have our contact information. So your mobile phone number, your office phone number. You can duplicate your mobile phone number to the office phone number if you want it in both slots. Just keep in mind that that will duplicate it on all of your marketing. So it does usually look better if you use your market center phone number here. 
for the email, you do not have to use your KW email. If you have another business email that you use for your business, you can enter that here instead of your KW email. For your website, if you see www here, you wanna go ahead and take that out as that does not work with the KW websites and that will take your clients to a broken page. So make sure that this reads HTTPS and then your website here. Next, we have the Market Center information. So again, Market Center logo does not need to be cropped. It can be uploaded as is and that will correct itself. And then over here is where you will have your Market Center name and address. Be sure that this is reflecting the correct information for your market center. Next up, we have legal footer text. So you don't usually need anything here unless your office requires anything. You do not need to have the little blurb that says each office is independently owned as that is automatically on your marketing. So if you have that typed in here, it's gonna show up twice. Next, we have legal footer links. So if you are a Texas agent or a New York agent, you will need legal footer links in here. So for Texas, you have your broker service and protection notice. And New York agents, you will have your standard operating procedures here. If you are looking to add more links, there is a add link button. And that is where you can add links to your legal footer here. Next, we have legal footer images. So these are kind of little thumbnail images that will show up on the bottom of your marketing. These do show up very small. As you can see, they are 128 by 48 pixels. So you probably don't want to advertise your vendors down there as it's not going to show up very big. Um, if you have designation logos that you want to add in there, you can add those if you would like. Next, we have social media. So this is where you can add links to your social media business pages. So if you have a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, or LinkedIn, you can add those links here and those will show up on your website for you. And then last at the bottom, there is Google Analytics. They are currently updating this, so it's not currently working properly, but when it does work, you would put your tracking ID in here and it would track the traffic to your website. So once you have your marketing profile filled out, you will hit save. And then it's just gonna let you know that everything's successfully saved. The last thing I will point out is in the right side, there is this green toggle, use my information to brand my agent site. You want to always make sure this is green. If you ever see this showing up as not green, make sure you toggle that on as this is what's going to feed your information to your marketing for you. If you have any questions about any of this, you can reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. Again, that's support at scottleroymarketing.com. Have a great day.